Hey there, this is Tim and welcome to my Isosuite review. Now, Isosuite is a brand new product from the Usine team. Uh, probably you've heard of Usine, the design application, and they have created two brand new tools that you're going to get access to. So the Isosuite has two software tools and I'm going to show you both of them. Uh, but actually, I'm going to show you the first part and the second part I don't have access to right now. So Martin is going to show you how that works. Uh, but you're going to get access to a character software that allows you to create characters. And the second part of the software allows you to create isometric graphics. Very cool. Uh, you're going to see exactly what it is. So I'm going to show you the character software, but before I do, I want to mention that there is a link in the description of this video. It will redirect you to my website where you can find more information about the pricing, also some upgrades and some bonuses that you're going to get. So make sure you check out that link. Also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel if you like to see more of my reviews and then please hit that like button if this review is useful for you. So. Let me show you how the first software works. And this is the character software. As you can see here, uh, I'm on the dashboard right now, and this works really easy. Everyone can create beautiful characters with this software. So as you can see here, you have the library of characters that you can choose from. And the only thing that you have to do is simply pick a character, and then you can start modifying that character. So let's say I wanna use Hayden here. I'm gonna click on edit. And this will bring me to the next screen uh, where I can edit Hayden. As you can see here at the top, you can see all the other characters. Uh, but here you can see Hayden. Now, how it works is super really simple. Uh, you simply scroll over the different types of hair uh, and you simply click on it and the character will change immediately. Let me move myself to the left side of the screen so that you can see it better. Um, so here, let's say you want to have this hair type you can change that or maybe you want to give him a hat like this you can do that as well or maybe uh, a haircut like this and then you can change the faces so there are different types of faces in here and these are different per character as well so this character comes with these faces but other characters have other faces so let's say you want to make him happy you can do that as well maybe you want to have him like a businessman then you simply give him business clothing like this with a laptop or maybe uh, something like this and then you can also change the feet so you have the hat here at the left side you see the hat the face the body and the feet uh, where you can change this as well so you can give him other pants here blue for example uh, and this is how easy it is now you can also uh, create random uh, character from this specific character so you see a random button in here so when you click on that random button you can see it immediately uh, generates another image from the same person here and if you click random again here look at this it's the same person but it's totally different so there are thousands of types that you can create with this software uh, by changing all the clothing here, as you can see, it simply randomizes all the software or all the different types. So the hats, the hair, the face, the body, the feet, as you can see here, this is a funny one. And once you're happy with one, uh, you can simply download it. So let's say uh, we generate one and we like this one. You can click on this download button and this will give you a high quality here. When I open this, look, it is a full screen transparent image that you can use and add on your website on your app that you're creating or in your designs you can simply download this and you can use this image and it's a high quality png image as you can see uh, that you can use everywhere so this is how you can create a character now when you go back you also have the option here on the main screen to randomize characters in here so let's say you are creating your app or your website and you simply want to create images for your for your website for your sales page wherever whatever you're using this for you can click on randomize here and now it will give you a randomized image as you can see here uh, and now you can change this and you can see totally different character in here or you can do it like this for a help desk or maybe this uh, or you change it to a fairy uh, here you say fairy i'm not sure if, if that's the right word but you can see uh, you can give this all different types of i think this one looks best here for this character uh, but again you can randomize this as well and then you got a totally different character in here 
And that, that's another way how you can use the software in it. But as you can see, it's really easy to manage. You simply go to your dashboard and from here you pick your character uh, and you can start working on it. Now there's also support here at the bottom, as you can see here, uh, this is Usign. Maybe you remember the logo right now. Uh, you get support, there's news on here. It's a very good supported product. Here you got a help desk where you get the docs, you can contact the team if you like to. And this is the first part of the software. So now Martin will show you the second part of the software. Um, so the, yeah, so you have a good idea what these isometric images are all about. Isozine is the next one. And we go in here, we just click plus. It's a very clean, clear interface. The main stuff is in the app itself. And I'll start with the templates. We're giving them 20 templates in the front end. So it's the first 20 we see in here. And we've got them sort of niche based at the moment. So let's say you want to make something for Oh, I don't know, a business or a Black Friday deal, just click this. It builds up the entire thing. So what they have then is their canvas area. Everything can be drag and dropped around here. All the people, the different elements. When they click on an individual element, you can change all of the different colors as well. So let's say you want to change this guy's shirt to a horrible mustard color <laughs> or red. And people can very easily make different, different uh, type characters, give them black hair, Change his jean color, or whatever his jeans. So you would you would mess around with this and get you can get the des the design you want. Let's give him some uh, gray shoes. So there, new character. And you put him over here. You can do whatever. And that's that's just a template. So once someone someone goes in from the template, they can start deleting things or customizing things or changing any colors. They can go in and add backgrounds to it, and we'll have a hundred backgrounds in the final one. So you just say like this, it adds a background, or you could do this one. And again, when people look at all the different combinations, it's pretty much it's pretty much infinite. And you can delete things if you want to clean up clean up around the edges to make it more congruent with your background. You can clone people, so if you wanted like a bunch of guys with one of them shorter, whatever. So you've you've got all these different options. And uh, you can click on graphics. You've got, I think there's over 300 different elements. So let's say you want to add some tech to this, like another another monitor. Just click here, and you drag it around, and it's all angled correctly. So we get rid of these phones, get rid of the iPad, put the monitor, put the screen up here. And then you go back and you would click on uh, icons or objects. So let's see what we have here. Let's say you want to add. Cup of coffee to the table. So there you go. Putting wouldn't have coffee around electronics, I guess. But uh, you know, so it's 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 pretty flexible, and they can create whatever they need, all sorts of different objects and icons and things in here. Little things you can use to make uh, graphics on the screen as well. Just click this, and then you, know, you put it up on the screen. So this one, you could be in here all day making things freely, and they also, of course, can just start. Uh, from scratch, start with a blank one as well, not use a template. So loads of different options there. And that is pretty much ISOSign. So from here, they would save it, they can crop it, they can download it, everything they need to do. And I want to draw your attention to these graphics in particular, these isometric ones. If you go on to Fiverr and check out, there's just, there's like nearly 500 services available and it's people charging 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks for making simple images where the hard part is the isometric graphics and then they could slap that onto any background or whatever from their other graphics tools or use the built-in background tool as well. So that's a quick overview of the two pieces of software we have. So that's an overview of what you will get with IsoSuite, two types of software uh, that you can use to create beautiful images. Now again, if this is interesting to you, then make sure to check out the link in the description of this video uh, where you can find more information about the pricing, the funnel, and some extra bonuses that you're going to get. And uh, also please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet. Hit that notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload a new review. And if you would hit that thumb button, I would appreciate that as well. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And uh, I hope to see you in my next review. Talk soon. Bye-bye.